Okay, good afternoon guys and welcome to the 600th live stream for Trains in World. Yes, I've hit 600 streams. This was my life, this was my thingy. For some strange reason I've got adverts playing and I can't get my laptop sorted. There we go. Uh, skip any time today. What? To skip the advert and it gives me another advert. Um, and I still can't skip it. Oh, for God's sake. That's, that teach me for setting up adverts on here, really, won't it? But, yeah, guys, thank you all very much. Um, 600, um, 600 live streams. Um, so, yeah, really impressed. Um, and um, I've managed not to mute it for some strange reason, so there's a whole load of touch uh, talk going. But, hey, we're back. We're here. We're live. Anyway, it's a Thursday afternoon. We were going to be doing Great Western Express, but I'm going to throw it over to you guys for any UK route. So I will ask someone in the chat and I'll say, give me a UK route. And you guys are going to tell me what one it is. One of you guys. I will choose someone. So, um, yeah. So quickly, though, Trains in World got an update today. Yes. Yay. And we have formation designer where do you find it it's in creators club click on that it's currently well the playstation got an update the xbox didn't at the moment okay so <laughs> yeah the the xbox didn't get an update yeah that's hopefully tomorrow by the weekend hopefully they're saying um so yeah so click on the old formation designer there and you get taken to a screen as you can see i've got one there already um so literally you can do press your square button or whatever your appropriate button is on the right the, the button on your xbox controller new formation type it in uh okay let's try Okay, okay, class 33 times 2 HEA, right? Name not allowed. Why is that? Because you've got the word class, which it uses it. The profanity filter doesn't see class. It says, <gasps> you said arse. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you've still got to abbreviate everything. So, I oh, forgot what is going on here. Okay, let's just do... Okay. It's, it's doing this again. Right, let's do 33. Oh. Two times 33 plus PCA. Okay. You can put down what you want in the description. Confirm. Uh, okay, go to Formation Builder. Um, add official. So this is the official stuff. Um, not ones that have got a custom livery. Okay. Hi, Daniel. How you doing? Hello, everyone. We have uh, Liverpool trains, Bradley, Carl and Daniel. I think there's a few more. Um, why is that doing that? Um, there's Discord Plus playing up now. It's Discord spent ages to update come on off you go there you are right you can choose your background triangle i don't like the white background sometimes the white background's good other times it's a pain in the bum so i just go for that so click add official um and we want 33 oh triangle 
and then go up to 33. I'm too quick, that's why. So class 33, bump, and if you go up to it, you can click onto it. So you can have two, okay? So we're gonna save that. Then you add another official. Um, we said PCA, didn't we? Um, triangle. Triangle your donut. There we go. Should be that one. T's value line. DSN. DSN. Do you know what DSN is? Grey PCA cement powder. Is that something to do with the... DSN. I can't remember. I don't know. So click that and you get one. So if you go and click the tanker, then do that. One, two. Oh, oh God's sake. Let's go back. Click that. Click it. So we'll do about what, 10, shall we say? 10? Oh, it's not going to do it that way. You've got to do it this way. It's not allowing me to do that. Why is that then? So we've got 233. This is annoying. I think this should... They should be able to allow you to scroll down the whole bloody train. So... We'll save that. So we've only got four. Why have we only got four? Have I done it the wrong way? No. Okay. So, okay. So we'll just do add official then. We'll do it that way. Okay. Um, and we'll click on that. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, my God. This is doing my head in. Two, four, six. So we've got six. Click on that. So we're going to go for ten. I think this. How many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, can you couple the four, six, five to the peps as per reality? I don't know. I really don't know. We can have a look at that in a minute. Um, do another one, Ooh. do another one, two, four, six, eight, nine, I think there is there. No, it's just, I think it only allows you to do so many and then you have to go in and do it again. Oh, hello. There's 12 vehicles, so there's 10. Okay, so we're going to add one more. 13 now. Right. Okay, we're going to save that. Boop, it's saved. Right. Um, so we'll come out. So did you say class 465? Have a look. Formation builder. Oh no, let's do a new one. Let's go back. 
Fix it. Need to go in again. Two plus. Oh, there we go. So it also gives you here preview, quick preview of your formation. 0 to 50% grade, excellent on everything. So, yeah. You can also edit your details. You can copy it and then you can then go and edit formation. You can take the locos off and you can put whatever it is you want on there sort of thing. Um, right. So we can also like add new. Um, so I'm going to put this one down as a test. Okay. Right. So Bradley, you said... Class four six five. Okay, so add official. Um, right, so four six five nine. Okay, let's do that one. Right, and then so what three one three. Artificial. Three one three. Oh. No, the uh, three one three one three one four. No. Um, it won't let you I don't think you'll be able to do it I think it's all done by um, coupler type but it, it might be Bradley that they're not set up with the same blueprints the, the same blueprint system that you can do with a 313 and 314 I don't know if you can couple them together in real life um, so it's basically um, right so we where's where's the um, rest of the train gone well, that's a bit uh, crazy. Well, no. It's the same coupler. Yeah, but it's... It, so is the 150 and the... Uh, um, uh, the 158 or the 142, but they don't couple because, you know, there's something wrong with them. They've not been done right. Um, so that test, if I click that, I can delete that. We don't need that. Right. So we've got two little consists there. Okay. So we'll come out. And for this, I'm going to go into training center with nothing on there whatsoever. It's just going to be a blank training center because my one is screwed up. Going on free roam. And we're going to go, we're going to, well, um, what the hell? Oh, have I just done it? Mm, I've just really done it, haven't I? It was there, wasn't it? They really need to update the, um, the thingy on this. Plane out. I mean, okay, so... So if you want to spawn something... On your D-pad, 
where your little four directional buttons are. So I'm going to walk up here a little bit. Save as a journey earlier on. Click that. Right. So type in 33. Enter. Class 33 green. You've got official liveries and custom formations. What you want to do is scroll over to custom formations. Two times 33 plus PCA. Booyah. Spawn. Bob's your uncle. There should be 10 PCAs there. It didn't save it. Okay. It did not save that, which is rather annoying. D6508, is that 008? So 57. Oh, well. Right. But I know this one's safe. This is one I... Here's one I did earlier in the classic... Um thingy so you got to make sure that you do save it again go over to customs formations don't do liveries like I did I was thinking I don't remember doing those but apparently I did click on that 37 times 2 F 1 FKA And there you are. I think we just... Oh no, we are in just... 237s on EWS FKAs. Now, as far as I'm aware, these always load empty. Hi, Liverpool trains. Hi, Adam. How you doing? But in time, Bradley, this will this will turn out to be okay. This will work. It's in beta for a reason, you know. And this is why they do it. Oh. Would you turn the bloody engine off? Yeah, somewhere, isn't it? So I'm not talking over the engines. I'll have the little chirps it gives. Well, that don't work. No, nope, that don't work. Let's go and speak to the bosses about that. Right, 465, yeah? 465 and 314, you say? Let's try it. Let's try it on a long bit of track. Well, quite hopefully it'll be tomorrow, you know. I don't know why. Obviously, they've had a problem with probably certification or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's what you need to do is 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 just. Is. Um... Is just give it a pro just. Give it a play with. Just have a good play with it. It just sounds so wrong. Right. So we want a... What's the next one? Uh, 314, wasn't it? 
No, three one three. That's why it wouldn't work. No, because I did. I did put it up. Try and get it as close as possible. I have to do it that way then. Right. Um, I think we'll do it with this one. Did I put my key? No, you put the key in there, you don't. Know. Right. The 37s have started up as well. And just to say that the um, frame rate's doing okay. Right. Hi, right, mate, how you doing? Hi, right, Declan. If it crashes, I will be back. I don't think it would. Are they baited? No, they're not. Okay, let's go out this way a minute. Right, give her a bit of a whack. See, they may couple, but they might not work. Well, it's not an update, is it? It's um, it's a new route. Why can't I? Oh, it's. I always forget that it's that way. Right. So let's see. Let's bang our legs together. Oh no, these are not too bad. Just on you. Who can remember the yellow insides of these pep units? So I can. Um, boom, 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 boom. It's that one there. Um, let's put our, I don't think it will be, but headlights on. That's not headlights. It's the next one you don't up. There you go. Right. It's got headlights on. Well, they both got tail lights on. I bet you he's got his headlights on here down here. Oh wow! Okay. Won't move. Try taking the brakes off. So you can't couple them together in formation designer. But you can couple them together in what you call it.
So, I always forget with the free one, the, the, the free one freeze and, and that, it's the brakes on the, um, the brakes are on the, um, I was going to say other foot then, <laughs> the brakes are on the, um, that way, isn't it? Uh, other thingy. Thingy burn. Hi, Liverpool trains. Yeah, that's the third time you said hello. I, I, you know, I don't need to keep saying hello. Um, am I not going to be able to shut the door? Thank you. Not that door, you do first. That one. Right. So, oh, we didn't do the proper thing that we should have done. Let's do these doors because I know they open. Kind of... Oh, I always thought you got a little bit close there. Maybe not. Oh, no. Put on tail lights. Tail lights are on. You had to go out and cut the grass. Well, that's a good time to cut it if it's not raining. So we're going to buzz around with the 313 and the 465 for a bit. Let's see how we get on a minute. I must admit, though, I, I do love driving the 465. Um, oh. Right. Okay, so we're going to switch her on first. Um, reverse her forward. Put the thingy brakes on. No, nope, the wrong one. Regen brake, that's what it is. Oh, duh, that one. Oh, it's been a while. Headlights on. They're on. Right, we are going to run, he says. Basically, this is where... I can't remember which one it is now. Right, so we are going to go that one. That's right. That one over there. And we should then be able to take all this all the way. I bet you I've done it wrong. No, no, we've got it. We have it, look. Excellent. Oh, that's so cool. We'd managed to do that. Okay. Brakes are off. Let's see if it works. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Look at that. It's weird that basically they've got two control types. You've got the 465 that you have the power up and power down sort of thing, but the 313, you have the separate brake on the left. So, yeah, it's, it's a bit weird, that. Yeah, I'm on the PlayStation, yeah, PS5. I've got a keyboard. Spacebar for high. N for uh, low. So if you're on console, get yourself a cheap USB keyboard and you can plug everything in. I was driving it yesterday on a freight 
and I would just find it a bit boring to be honest. 80 miles, 80 kilometers an hour. So we're going to do a lap or two of the circuit. See how fast this baby can go. With a 313 in tow. 313 will be going, slow down, mate! Uh, what's the point? We should now be able to whack our speed up. That's pretty cool, actually. Shame you can't use the PIS. It's so easier with a keyboard. So with the rail joins as well, you can really tell what trains have a really decent sounding rail join sound effect. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. That's 138 kilometers an hour, which is what? In old money? You're looking at 87 miles an hour? So she's doing 140 kilometers, which is about. Well, I'll tell you here. Which is a bit 90 ish. Three nine five with the eight oh one. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? Because it's an automatic. This is based in Germany, this test center. So it's on kilometers an hour. I just missed my point where I need to go past. Oh dear. No time like the present, is there? Let's push it back in. That's what she said. I have a really screw the traction motors up. <laughs> Should be seeing her in a minute anyway. We'll just park her.
That's as quick as you'll see anything going in those sidings. Okay. I love that hum. That's so cool. Um, bum, 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 trail lights. Oh, tail lights are on. Okay. Bit of a bugger. Um, I think it's that one we can go on, isn't it? Right, so. Um... Should we do 801 first or 395? Um, um, six car empty. Oh, it's done it again. Sometimes you get stuck on the track and it's a pain. I can't walk. Why can't I walk? Oh, ow, just walked into a post. That's not very helpful. Is the 395 connected on third rail or it's on third rail? Right, okay. So what we need to do first is put her on... Um, Oh, I believe that was the sound of the pan pantograph going up. That was pretty cool. Um, I'll leave the key in because it'll be fine. It's not going anywhere. Leave the door open as well. There's only me in here today. I'm playing trains <laughs> in the training centre. There's no one else here. Right, 8.01. I'm not sure if you'll be able to do it again in formation design. Oh, hold on a minute. Which one does the old conk? Bradley, there's a button here somewhere, isn't there? Which one do I press? wipers i knew it was over there somewhere but i just remembered i've got to take the old what's it out as well i've got a key out up here Oh, 
hopefully the pants still up. Yeah, it is. Bradley's going, you're breaking my lovely 395 unit. What number are we? 005. Look at that. Right, let's get in there. Um, let's key in. From there we go. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> oh dear, sorry. In house joke. Right, so we are now going to spawn in an eight oh one. Eleanor, there we go. Now you know what they call her, Eleanor, don't you? Eleanor. Spawn. Oh, no, we can't do it that way. Oh, okay. Why can't we do it down there? Because it's going over a set of points, isn't it? Oh, for crying out loud. Have I ever used the rail driver? No, because I don't have... Um, I do have this on the PC, but I don't have the game on... Um, don't have rail driver on PC. Why is it not letting me do this? Okay, let's... Let's take this down to... Um, um, a straight a bit of track. Oh, that's why, look. Because you're an idiot, Tony. You can't drive. Right. By the way, why have I got no... Oh. There we go. I love the little noise that you get from... Oh, it's that one down there. It's going up now. Okay. Right, shall we try it again? Hopefully this time it will work. 801. Triangle 801. Enter. Just uh, an empty nine car job will do. There. Right. I don't think it will. Someone going to tell me, uncouple forward preparation, there we go. <laughs> That's pretty cool, I like that. Right, shall we try it? It's only one way to find out, oh hello. It's only one way to find out, oh there's a door. This is where it could go really well, or they could go halfway across the training centre.
I don't think it's done that. Right. I don't think they will. Let's try and do it on this one. Hopefully the pants are up. Um, no idea what's going on there. No, you can't use the rail driver on the PlayStation, no. Um, what's going on here? It's my pants. That's... Oh, you know what? No. Okay, look. Right. Bradley, are you there? Let's get started. Bradley, Bradley, are you there? One, five, Bradley. I'll give you five seconds. One, two... Three, four, five. Okay, Carl, give me a UK route. Northern Transpennine, okay. Uh, you'll have to wait, Bradley. You'll have to wait. I'll come to you in a bit. Right, and what are we going to be doing on Northern Transpennine? Uh, no, it just didn't work. It, they couple, they didn't couple, so there was the. I don't think they can, to be honest. Well, I don't think they've done them. So, yeah, what are we doing? We're doing a timetable on Northern Transpennine. So let's get the show on the road. Right. So we've had 45 minutes cock arsing about. Right. NTP. If I can find it. You know what? I fancy a 40. And we're having the dominoes. Um, Twelve twenty-three leads to Manchester, Victoria, and we're not going to do it in dynamic weather either. Just have a little bit of cloud. And a bit windy. And we put this down as a TT. He said TT. Huh. Timetable service. So I'll be here till about six or just after six today. And I must remind you that if I do get a phone call or a knock on the or a key code or someone on the doors downstairs, I'm going to have to pause the stream and sort all that out. So, yeah. Um, do you know what? I am going to put AWS on. We won't need it, but it's there for practice. You never know when you do need it. 
and look your doors, put your headlights on. Right, and what have we got around? So you got a normal 47 here. Oh, we've got oils in here. Hello. I don't know if that's one of mine or not. I think it is, actually. It's a shame that the 45, um, the 33, the 31 will never be thingy compatible if we design a compatible. What have you done? What have they done to the brakes on this? You're opening a pack of noodles and the packet exploded. Now you have a room full of noodles. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but I am. You'll be finding them for months. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. A sight not seen in ages. <laughs> Love how the bogey sl um, slewed across. So, Long Island Railroad, V2. Um, yeah. Be interesting to see what the timetable's like.
hot day in Liverpool. Um, it's 16 here today, which is pretty cool. It's been one of the warmest days, which is pretty cool. Oh, what did I do that for? Oh, you are an idiot. I hit the wrong button. That's cool. Right, Dewsbury is our next stop. It's still a bit cloudy out though, but it's good. It's all good. So Long Island Railroad, if you have the M3 as DLC, it will appear as a um, layer. The M7 and the M9 um, will happen. And I think a lot of the... Um, uh, where they had the... Um, the things where they've taken, like, the... They've moved... The, taken out the CCTV sort of... Bits in the... In the... Get, in the... In the... In the um, unit is mainly because of licensing where MTA didn't want it in there well that's the beauty of it you don't have to buy it if you don't want to at the end of the day that's it you know you're not going to stop you, you know they're not going to they're not going to um, move away from thirty pound. I think. I think the only thing I'm annoyed at, to be honest, is the fact that there's no there's no discount for the PlayStation. I can understand why they've managed to do discount for the PC for Steam, because it's the easiest thing to do. It's 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 they're not they're not controlled by the Microsoft or Sony. You know, the safety systems, they are going to... There's a manual and it's all going to be all in tutorials within the route. So, yeah, no need to worry. But you will have to learn the safety systems. Because you cannot not have the safety systems on; they are on by default permanently. That is a re that was a request by MTA. 
And I think that's quite good, to be honest, because... I think it will, Bradley, to be honest. I think it will. Um, it might not sell to the European or, you know, the European fan base or probably the rest of the world, but America, they'll love it. Um, but yeah, it was all, a lot of it, the delay was all down to licensing and that, to get all that ironed out certain things I think to be honest I, I can understand to 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 a degree about people going on about a 30 pound or whatever it is in your local currency price tag for that it has for me 30 pounds or whatever your local currency is 20 29 euros 30 35 euros 39 dollars whatever the route has to be to me the equivalent of south eastern high speed brighton mainline dresden riser castle Würzburg it has to be busy it has to be a decent length it has to be busy now you spent 31 pound on what scr merch what's that oh liverpool oh right okay B1 exists, just upgrade that, like WSR, Sherman Hill. I... Yeah. I don't think they could. I think the decision... I'm not 100% sure, but I think the decision was taken to re completely redo it. Oh, Roblox, something scenic railway or something like that. Stepford County Railway or something like that. See, Stefford. Hi, Rower Guy. You finally bought Train Sim World. What version did you buy? Oh, we're speeding. Oh. Standard version alongside some DLC. Oh, the um, humble bumble, hum, humble bumble, hum, hum, humble bundle. I did that on Train Sim World Three, I think it was for the PC. Bought loads, got loads of stuff. It's really good deal. I think it was going for about four ninety nine or something like that. The humble bum bundle. That's it. Um. And you get about 13 or 14 different routes with it for about four or five ninety nine or something like that. Crazy price, but yeah. Heard about that. We're giving the people the game. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like that price. It's, it's quite cheap, and then you get loads and loads of DLC for it. But the money goes to charity, which is pretty cool. Or a section of the money goes to charity.
it's all done through Steam. Look it up on Steam. It, obviously, it doesn't work through the P, uh, PlayStation or the Xbox. It's it's um, Steam. I did say in the preview to, for this stream that we will be doing GWE. Unless someone chooses it, we won't be. Back off, Thief. You're looking forward to buying the five circle line and the 380 on the calf cut circle line. You start test of you four when you finished off its training mission session. Oh, awesome! Um, the three eighty. I'm slightly disappointed. Kind of hoping it would be an actual diesel loco add-on, not a electric multiple unit. I'm not saying that we don't need one, but just would have preferred another UK freight loco. These bloody Freightliner locos are turning up a bit, aren't they? I think actually it is pretty funny having it in the seasons because a lot of people are saying, no, it's just April Fools. They're not doing a 380. Ah, but read it all again. You know. Um, well, the previews tonight, and if it's anything like um, uh, Salzburg, then I might not be playing it as much. Ros Rosenheim Salzburg. If it's anything like that, I probably won't be playing it as much um, because I just found that route absolutely boring. Yeah, you know, I'll just have to wait for Summering Bar and see what the thing. But let's just hope they do a decent preview and it's just not the Lucas and Jan show again. I know Lucas is really excited to see a lot of German stuff. Um, hold on. I've just got to clean my glasses because I've got fingerprints all over the lenses and where I had a sneezing fit this morning, I haven't cleaned them. <laughs> Um, I just hope it's it's a better one. I know Matt's driving, but I don't know if JD's going to be there tonight or Alex. I think Alex is off. Alex is on holiday today, I think. So we could be seeing JD or hearing JD's dulcet tones. I think. So, just... So I'll just clear, if you're thinking what's going on, I'm cleaning my glasses because I've got fingerprints and sneeze blast all over them. <laughs> sneeze blast, is that what you call it? I don't know. Honestly, don't know. Right. Oh. Right, I can see, oh, I can see now. Right, let's go. Lock the doors. Take the brakes off. Give it a bit of a blast. Huddersfield is next.
Um, I hope you can spell English this time. Problem with that is, you know, it's, you know, the five oh seven, the five oh eights, and that, and the five oh sevens, their life expired. I mean, those, they used to work on the Waterloo Suburban scene back in the 80s when they first came about. Hi, Mark. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Try to bring it down to 45 because I am not going to make that corner. Yeah, they worked out of water, London Waterloo on the southern region for a while. That's why some of the 455 units have 508 um, coaches in them as well. Sheerness branch, there you go. Yeah, that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. I mean, blimey, the... The 508s and the 455s outlasted the 442s. The 442s were only built in 1988. Well, 87 to about 89, something like that. Oh, hello. Did you guys hear that on the sound? Ah, oh, just not me then. That's good. That's cool. Oh, another 47. What 47 is that? Let's see. Get... That, I think, is... Um, that's... Um, that's uh, Adam's. You see, I'm not worried about what people think about how the route looks, the five circle line. I quite like it, but I think it's the timetable that needs to be sorted. Okay, we didn't make the 50.
really sorry about for the YouTuber Graham Foston suffering from depression. It's never a good thing. Oh, hello. Um, and stopping his stream till he gets better, which is fair enough. We're also getting upset by bad comments he's received. Well, now here's the thing, right? And I'm not disrespecting the guy. I don't know him, okay? But at the end of the day, it's how you handle those comments. I used to get really annoyed when people were like disliking disliking the stream or something like that, and I was like thinking, well, what have I done wrong? And I've done. It's not me, and he's got to understand it's not him. It's them. If people are making bad comments, they've got a problem. Let them sort it out. Their problem. This is this is the thing. It's just like I've had a lot of homosexual, homophobic. Sorry, a lot of homophobic comments made about me over the last few years. There's nothing wrong with me. It's not my problem. If people have a problem with that, then they should go and look at themselves. That they feel the need to make homophobic comments about me or anyone that they don't like because, you know, they're, 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 they prefer same sex, same sex partners. That's their problem they have to sort out. It's not anyone else's problem, but theirs. But this is the problem the same with anyone that bullies. It's not the person that's getting bullied problem. It's not that person. It is the people that are doing it. It's their problem. And at the end of the day, you get some decent things with YouTube that if people do make comments, you can do one or two things. You can delete the comments. This is why all my comments are moderated. I'll put comments up which I feel, okay, they might be a bit close to the bone but I'll put them up I'll leave them there or I'll, I'll publish them and then I'll put an instant response in but what I won't do is when it's absolute downright name calling which I do get every now and then then that's why that comment will never get made will never get seen because I just remove it and that's how you got to treat it you, I mean I've learned the hard way but even when dealing with over the last six months where I've said all my streams about my mum dying and everything one or two of the um, the comments that I've received is said, is said well thank god for that at least we won't have to hear about you bitching on about her all the time that was one of the one one of the comments I got it didn't make it didn't get published it didn't make the comments on the video because I deleted it and I also turned around and I replied to the person, let's hope you don't ever lose a parent or a loved one then. Um, and then I blocked them. Um, uh, you know, there's... It's... It's just people like that that it does it really it does make you angry and it did that did get to me but I was able to sort of say to myself well you're better than this because I've only the one I'm only one that's seen it you only just found out about it now because I'm telling you no one else would have seen it because my, all the comments are moderated by me and that's it Yeah, exactly. And the, the, for, what, for the last three years, how her health deteriorated and how I had to deal with it. And it's not easy to deal with. The amount of times that I've stopped halfway for a live stream because, you know, I've had to go and sort her out. She's, because basically she's, well, you know, you can imagine what you do, doing, what she's done. But, you know that it's it's having to deal with all that and all the crap and hassle that you get because of it and it's just that people it, it, i won't say it's that they don't understand i think it's just that they're absolutely 
pretty crude and evil. Um, well, oh, these brakes are what have they done with the brakes on this bloody thingy? The, the, the problem is, is that you can't stop bots, bots are bots, they are just they are just bots that's it but it's when you go and check these people's youtube channels and they've got you know they've got they've got videos of their family you know their young kids on there and you think really you have a problem with me being whatever or stuff like that and you're a family man and I, sometimes I just leave messages on their thing and I remind them, you know, you're a family man at the end of the day. How would your family feel if they heard, if they read what you wrote to me about my mum or about me being who I am? Would they feel the same way as you do? Or would they feel a bit disgusted by you sort of thing? So, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going too fast, I know I am, but hey-ho. Today's 47 is... What have they done with the brakes on this bloody... Have they messed the brakes up on here? Yeah, I mean, I so when I first started, I really got sometimes. Um, I I did get upset at the comments. The comments would get to me, but I've got the power that they can't. That you know, people people will comment, but they cannot. Those they 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 they'll just push send, and those comments will go nowhere apart from my little a little box that it has comments moderations or comments comment you know comments for moderation and that's all the comments on my videos that's why you know not a lot of people do do and not a lot of people do comment but i do get the occasional ones where they're just quite some of them are absolutely disgusting. Um, I'm kind of glad that YouTube could give us the option that we can moderate our comments, but I would prefer that YouTube gives us the ability to send reported comment to them and they deal with it, but they don't. You can send them, you can report them, but YouTube don't do anything about it. That is the problem. See you later, Liverpool Trains. That's a bugger. The classic scene here at Huddersfield is when you're about to depart with a 40 on the, t on the thing. And you hear the, f f uh, the horn blow. Thing is, I don't get upset or hurt by the comments now. I just think, oh, you twat. And then I think, that comment's not going to be seen, so... Yeah, you got a problem, mate. You sort it out. And this is why, you know, you laugh... I, I kind of laugh at people now that just, like, start... Start trying to take the mick, trying to 
trying to inflict a response from you because of they their their hatred I mean I had one guy where I used to work and he was that immature he was about 22 and um, he'd obviously been told about me and he'd been there about a couple of weeks or sort of thing and he thought he was like kind of funny sort of thing and um, he, he's a bit of a bit of a you know he, he's a you know he's one of these people that a bit of a laugh he's thinking he was all right sort of thing and um he just happened to be in front of me in, in um in the queue to get a drink or something like that and he went oh get away from me i went what's your problem he goes oh, you're a bum bandit i went what he said you're gay i went yeah he said, well, I don't want you whooping me one. I went, excuse me? I said, well, I said, why would you think I'd want to, like, pop you one? I said, do you think all gay people, like, fancy you or something? I was like, to be honest, mate, I said, you're quite ugly and you're not really my type. And he's, like, quite offended by that. And, uh, you know, I just, I just like, left it after I turned around and said to him, just don't turn around and do your shoelaces up. Or bend, don't bend over and do your shoelaces up. And as I walked past him. <laughs> you know, and I was just like, that's how you deal with them. Train to World Special Edition, cool. Where are we stopping next? Staley Bridge in 15 miles. So, yeah, I mean, I feel sorry for the guy. Um, but, but to be honest, I think oh, I'll give you an example. There's a guy, a, a railway model that I follow, and he's fantastic in what he does. And he gets loads and loads of YouTube comments about he should be doing this on his railway, he shouldn't be doing that. Oh, you can't have that. That doesn't look right, all that sort of thing, you know? And he's put up... It's, it's basically... there's a lot, In the, mod, the, the model railway community, there's a lot of people on the old keyboards. They call them gatekeepers, rivet counters... Hi, oh, Southern Rex. How you doing, mate? Welcome to the stream. And they've been telling him what he should be doing. He shouldn't be having this loco. He was the one that um, had a Class 56 um, loco, which wasn't working anymore. And he basically took the um, took the motor out of it. And he's just it's just a, a dummy sort of thing, yeah. And he basically um, graffitied it and he got loads and loads of hateful comments on his YouTube channel about it and um, his Facebook page and um, he then had we, he then got a massive response from the community saying well it's, it's rule one anything goes it's his route he can do what he wants and him and a few other people um, uh, that do their model row on YouTube have expressed over the last few months the amount of people that are moaning and saying, you know, like gatekeepers, rivet counters um, about what they do on their model railway saying that layout would never happen in real life blah 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 you can't do that your coaches the space between your coaches look too far apart personally I couldn't give a shit if, if you know I had my coaches on my model railway running around and I had space about whatever the standard space is that's that's up to me do you know what I mean that is my model railway if you don't like it 
there's a button there it says switch leave unsubscribe whatever do one of them or well, shut up Harold Road yes he's brilliant I, he's absolutely amazing some of the stuff he's done and um, yeah it's, it's not only him though there's a few other YouTubers as well where where you've had people they just absolutely I mean I've never heard the term gatekeeper I've heard obviously rivet counters and I usually call them worse than that but at the end of the day it's your railway it's your model railway you buy it you buy the stuff you bought it you paid for it you've earned the money to do that you do what you want with it and if people don't like it that's their problem to sort out you think it would not normally bother him do you think it is depression but yeah and I, I can understand that but at the end of the day you I mean not really suffered with depression I think you know it's I suspect that you are more vulnerable when you are you know you do go through bouts of depression but it's 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 it shouldn't happen anyway you know there are there is a thing being doing called being creative there's another thing being um, saying giving advice but when you're just downright obnoxious to people about something that they that they like they're doing and you've got nothing else better to do then I think it's time for that person whoever does that whoever's commenting just to think and step back and think about themselves it's you know if it put them in put yourself in their shoes if you were someone like this guy whoever just did this put this on saying oh this is you put your work heart soul everything into it and then you get some little scrote coming along mouthing off saying all that crap about it's not good or whatever i wouldn't do it that way blah 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 how would that person feel it'll probably turn around and say wouldn't bother me yeah well let's see that happen then because i don't believe them i never do and they always turn around and say, oh don't bother me but there are some people that are just pure evil in this world and they'll just because 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 they're behind a keyboard they're behind a monitor they're untouchable they can say and they can do what they want but at the end of the day they can say and do what they want but they can't get out on my thingy bump and um on my comments they might say something in the live stream but one of you guys will pounce on it um yeah so but there is a there is a horrible thing going on at the moment with a, a precedent with social media it's just not on youtube though it's on facebook it, it's on a lot of the other social media stuff on instagram where you put pictures up and there are people that just like comment and say and it's really horrible stuff and i know someone who puts pictures up on her instagram and she gets really awful comments from people you know and it's there's nothing wrong with her it's just the way people are i mean i'm uh, it's unbelievable that i mean on my facebook page i'm not i've not hidden anything at all i've put on my facebook page saying um i can't remember was something like i'm gay and happy blah 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 whatever and there's a balloon here somewhere. There it is. Nice. And there's a couple floating around as well. And with I didn't realise this until a few years ago. And that's this is how I found out. But you can get unsolicited messages on Facebook Messenger. And it's weird because some of the stuff that was sent to me is now against the law to do and i can leave it to your imagination what was 
but then again i got also a lot of homophobic abuse i didn't realize i had them i had over 95 messages from people unsolicited messages um about being what i am um and there's an easy way to do it if you have facebook messenger then bring up uh, bring up messenger and you want to go to where it says chats click the chats and um um Uh, yeah, click chats. When it comes up, uh, it gives you a thingy of chats, marketplace, message requests, or archive. Click message requests, and you've got message requests you may know, or you've got another one saying the spam. Now, apparently, I've got a new message. Actually, this has just come through. I've just seen this. Someone's put on. I don't know who it is. It's just got Facebook user hello, and that's it. I don't know. I don't know who it is, so I wouldn't know who. So I, I'm not going to answer it. It's just get deleted. But yeah, social media is awful. Yeah, it's basically because they can say and do what they want without without conviction because they can't. They can get away with it. And I think the other thing as well is the it's probably the way that people were brought up as well. Mm. You know, we all like a funny looking video, a cat video where the cat's running around with something on its head and whatever. But when you get someone that you know, you you, you got someone videoing someone else getting beaten up, then you're thinking, but that's wrong. You shouldn't do it. And yet these people are the first ones that complain about slavery back in the uh, 17th century sort of thing, you know? That's, and, oh, just, oh. And it just, like, eat priority straight. Social media is awful. It is awful. Yeah, I, I can understand, Mark, to be honest. I'm in notch 10. Oh, we're going through the tunnel, aren't we? I mean, as an example, look at the differing views of people on the Dovetail Trains and World Forum on what their views of certain things are. Five circle line, people like it. Five circle line, people hated it. You know? Every, yeah, I was brought up to respect others, yeah. Yes, yeah, 600 live streams. Wow. That also includes the eight and 10 hour ones as well. I can't believe that's literally that's nearly a th half of my videos i think i've done about eight sixteen seventeen hundred videos i think it's in total it should tell me somewhere No, I can't see. It should tell me. I think it will be in my statistics somewhere. I'm not actually sure, to be honest. Oh, I'm going too fast. Well, that's like a story of my life, really, isn't it? Um...
I trained the doors, how you doing? Um, yeah, there's there's um, Xbox streams as well, so um, yeah, Xbox Train Sim World streams mine, not the Xbox. Um, um, these these are the live streams, not the not the pre-recorded Train Sim World videos. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm all right. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's it's the Train World videos. Um, sometimes it's not even the first hour because I didn't do those. So it's it's more than 600 Train World videos I've done live streams. That is, um, because I didn't start putting in the first hour and. Train Sim World live streams until nearly I finished doing them, uh, the first hour ones. Um, but yeah, it's just. It's crazy, to be honest. I should see that one on ECS. I think we're downhill all the way now, aren't we? Pretty much. Bradley, you're the next one, so you get to choose the route. Not yet, though. Not yet. Well, choose the UK based route, mind. My controller is vibrating like anything. How far have we got left to go? Not too much. You just know that that bit there is the run down into Manchester. No, it's not. That bit. Is the run down into Manchester? That bit is the uh, boring bit. Yeah, I got a guess he'll go for um, five circle. To be honest. Don't forget the Semmering Barn um, preview tonight. Obviously, this is why I'm. Uh, on this afternoon. Find the gap. <laughs> that is. I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't expect it. I wouldn't. Expect, I don't expect people to. I think deep down, but you just know that there will be some people that do that because that's just the way they are. There are some people that are just pure evil.
Um, I shall be having a look at um, Formation Designer um, over the next few days anyway, um, as and when I can fit things in. Um, but I just haven't been able to sort of do as much. I've got a lot of stuff to do on the PC at the moment. Um, now that I've got it back up and running, I've still got stuff here to unbox, and then I've got to find a storage space for it. I've still got problems with this big leak, and they're just doing my head in because... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I phoned them up on Monday, um, Monday or Tuesday, basically, no, it was Friday, sorry, I phoned them up, the, my landlord, and, so, you know, to find out stuff about what's going on. I then had to phone them on Monday, um, but they said on Friday that someone will be phoning me this week about my living room door which is it's a fire door so it has to remain shut sort of thing but while you're in the house you can actually keep or the flat whatever you keep you, i keep the door open um by having a, a little block underneath it you know like a door wedge um and it doesn't shut anyway because because of the carpet is nice and thick and fluffy and brand new and everything it just the door just sits on it and just gets stuck you just shut it normally but because of the big massive leak and where the water has all leaked from above onto my floor seeped up in through the floor into my car brand new carpet and underlay oh i was supposed to stop here aren't i um then because the doors got wet because of the leak the door has swollen so the door when i go to shut it will not shut so work that one out so i had them phone me it, uh, earlier on this week and they basically turned around and said oh yeah we can we can fit you in for april the 23rd blah 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 oh great brilliant okay no worries i said but you need to get upstairs sorted the leak sorted i said before you come and do it i said for ob obvious reasons you know um because what's the point in, in doing my door and get getting either a brand new door fitted or it all sorted so that you know it managed to shut to shut when you still got a leak so i get a phone call this morning oh we can come and fix your door this afternoon we got someone in the afternoon we got someone free in the afternoon i was just like i was like no i said i need i need the leak fixed first and the, the problem is they got they got no one to get a key or no one's because the room upstairs the, the flat above me is void there's nothing no one in there so they have keys in the key safes but they haven't got key safe they haven't got the keys for the key the the, the, the property or well, they said they only got them back last week but since then they've had a painter in there and he's not given the keys back and they don't know who it is and in the meantime, for the past six weeks, I've I've had all this water pissing down from the root, the flat above, or we think it's coming through where the waste pipe goes through the floor. Um, in this like service area where the water stuff is and everything, we think in what it is is the water is coming down from the roof three three floors above me down through the gap between the waste pipe and the actual floor do you see what i mean so there's it's not coming from the waste pipe it's not soiled water it's roof water rain water that's coming through where it's not been sealed up the top in the roof properly or on the roof and i'm just like every you, you imagine since i moved in in well since i got the keys in in february how long um how many times it's been raining how much rainfall we've had down here hi james strange how you doing um so yeah i've had the amount and i've got i've had a you know i paid 1500 pound for my new carpet to be fitted in both rooms and i've got off cuts um but that's been ruined and all they get to say when i say about the curtain that the carpet sorry is oh we'll claim it on the contents insurance 
Well, no, because the content insurance will not cover the fact that the leak was in here when the carpet went down. It won't cover that. And I'm just like, they are absolutely freaking useless at the moment, and it's doing my head in. Six miles to Manchester. SSJ is service scenario or timetable. It's where I put my hand in my bag of service scenario or timetable and pull one out. So if I pull out a scenario, I'll do a scenario on the route. No, they'll turn around and say, oh, just, just put it on your house insurance. Yeah, contents insurance. But it's 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 just absolutely laughable. On, on, on the Monday, I turned around and said to the guy, he goes, I was on the phone 45 minutes in total, and 25 of that was on hold. And then they put me, I got put through to some guy, and I was ta ta telling him everything. He was reading my notes and everything. He goes, right, okay. He said, right, he goes, I need to speak to one of our senior team members and discuss with them what's going to go on. Right. So they put me on hold for 15 minutes. And I'm like, when he comes back, he says, right, so we're going to have to uh, get a chase up from the maintenance people on what's going on. I said, well, they told me that they keep putting emails back to you. I said, because they can't get into the property because they haven't got the keys. I said, for God's sake, I said, someone with a bit of common sense, just use, just break in and then go in to check. I said, because all I need, I, I said, because at this rate, I said, I'm not going to get this done before next December. Right, and the I'll zoom up. <laughs> it's not my responsibility. I told them they got to come down and sort it. But yeah, I, I can't. You know, it's like today. It's like, like I said, he fo they phoned up wanting to come and fix the door, which I said they need to fix the leak first because that will stop the water pissing down the through the the ceiling out onto my floor and not only that the the, the wall um, in my kitchen in theory should be taken out and redone replasterboarded because i've got mildew it's all damp i've got mildew on it all the water's gone behind the paint and with the ceiling as well and with the ceiling in the living room this honestly I'll, what i'll do I'll, I'll get some pictures um i'll take some pictures and i'll put them up on discord server Oh, you know, I said to you on Saturday there was a whole load of fire engines and that and emergency services I saw going down the road. That was because there's some guy sat in the van outside a pub threatening to ignite him, uh, ignite himself because he covered himself in petrol. Four miles to Manchester. Yeah. I've nearly uh, done a 30 minute run on all my new locos. Well, all the new locos have been done. Um, um, I, I think it was the Flying Scotsman was about one of the first or second ones I'd done. Uh, did the running and oil them and everything. And oh my God, it was such a... Mm. 
it was such a pain in the bum to get the screws into the tender again after I'd ordered it. But I didn't realise you can't... Um, the tender... I can't run the tender on the um, on the rolling road because it's a tender drive. I can't run the tender on the rolling road without the uh, locomotive. I need the loco on there as well. So um, yeah, it's quite cool. Nice the, the little rolling road. It's pretty cool actually. I quite quite like it. Oh, I'm going too fast, yeah, I don't care. I must admit, though, I, I did quite enjoy um, putting stuff on the rolling road. I put the, the 60 on there earlier on. I think it was yesterday or the day before. It was bloody awesome. But um, I've got a casualty. I've got 5007. I've got it's a it's someone's taking it and they've ruined it basically they've they put white paint along the like wheel flanges um they've given it a red buffer beam they've also painted the springs white as well it looks awful but they've not touched the the body side the actual body itself of the loco they just done the bogeys and it looks it just absolutely looks awful unfortunately i've got to say the um uh it, it's it no longer runs because they've they've literally done something to it which knackered it so it's now going to be scrapped um and i'm going to try he says and find a 50 that's got well a second hand Clark Lima class 50 but one with a crappy looking body side and then I can use the the the, the, the bottom bit the, the bogeys the motor for um, um, for this 007 so I just swap the bodies on it realize I've not there's two locomotives that I've not run in yet as well the 92 was um, running which I bought that was quite cool that, that goes quite well with my EPS European passenger services channel tunnel 37 So Bradley, what would you want me to drive next?
Blackpool branches. Okay. Right. Okay, so we're going to be driving that route next. Whether it'll be service scenario or journey time, we'll find out. Hi, Rob. I mean, yeah, I, I, I have thought about that, but they've ruined the, the bogeys. They've ruined that the, they they tried painting them. They've hashed them, mate, and it looks absolutely disgusting. I mean, I could swap it with um, the network southeast um, 50 that I've got tiger. I could swap the body with that, but I quite like Tiger. It sits well with the um, 33035. It looks like there's a little angry face there. There's his eyes. And there's his little mouth. Just angry. It, mate, it, it, trust me, it looks awful. I just, I just rather sooner better get a, a, a lower half part of a fifty. I've no idea what sort of paint they use. I can't tell you. I'll do it. You, you're on uh, face. You're on uh, Discord anyway, so I'll do it on Discord. I want more time to myself tomorrow anyway. I think, uh, so I'll do it tomorrow. There's things going on that I can't say at the moment, so um, yeah. But I'm a bit busy doing other things. But tomorrow I've got a day off, kind of thing. No, not a day off. But I've got a day that I'm not busy. Oil train in. Plus, I'm also supposed to be emptying stuff as well, and I've not done that for well. I did two boxes yesterday, but mostly just put it laying around the full of place. I got someone collecting a whole load of boxes at the weekend anyway, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's the one. What's this 47 up here? Oh, it's just... Oh, hello. It's a 40. <laughs> 197. So, who's excited for the... Um Cargo line V2. It's 
silver. I wasn't speeding as much. Oh, yeah, there was a little bit there. Yeah, looking forward to that. So, Southie Blackpool branches from Bradley. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what route Just Trains are doing. I don't think we'll hear yet what they're doing. Um, I suspect there'll be people saying, oh, what route? Come on, we want to know. What route? We want to know. It's just like they're the ones that always sort of, people that are always looking at um, uh, their their people, their, their brothers and sisters Christmas presents and telling them because they just can't wait. Right, so Blackpool branches. I need a and b in a second, so I'll pull out what we're going to have. Service scenario journey. Let's see. Cardiff Queen Street, Cardiff Bay? Probably. Imagine if it was Wessex, Maine. Imagine if it's like Salisbury to Bournemouth via Eastleigh and Southampton. It wouldn't, but oh, that'd be awesome. One five eight four four fours. Oh yes, three seven sevens coming in from Brighton Main Line. Um, yeah, right. Let's see what we got. The odd L and the R Zoom are coming down. What we got? We're doing timetable mode. So. Um, service right let me have a p and b and um hmm what to do Ooh, how about the 1A40 Blackpool North to London Euston? Give me two seconds. I need a week. How's my plants doing? I seem to be doing okay. The sun's gone in a bit now. Oh. in my curtains make sure these things close a bit because it's quite bright outside and where the sun is it's shining on my tv which is a bit stupid really because i can't see nothing <laughs> you're in right let's go oh my mate messes me in
Right, let's get started. Oh wait, in the shed. Unlock the doors. Um, turn her on. Um, put the arras on. Put her in first. What leg have we got? Oh, hello. 656. Five, six. Anything else in here? These twenties. Oh, they're here. A couple of paces. Is there anything down there? No. A twenty-three. Another empty platform at, Bay, at Blackpool. Another ECS then. No seventy-seven. It's about time they got these bloody passengers sorted out. They're just running ECS again, what's the point? <sighs> Nothing up there either. Okay, let's head back. County of Hertfordshire. We used to get all those down here on our interregionals. He thinks the WSR spoon needs the same level of TLC the NTP one got. What the? F That's an intercity job. Or is it? Okay. That's an Adam job. Next stop, Bolton Le Field. Well, they got people on, just mine doesn't.
Let's gun it. At least they got the right bloody coach numbers on. They've heard about my driving, yeah. Oh, and we're away. Another Rishian coming in by the looks of it. There goes the turbo. Oh, imagine Southampton to Bournemouth, 1980s, with 33s, 40Cs. Reps, definitely. This is BR when men were men. There was no health and safety nonsense. Reps coming back up. Reps coming off at the rear and 33s going on at the front. Taking them down to ball. A 47 light engine coming in. Looks like a no, it's a pacer, you donut. <laughs> we'll shortly be arriving at Bolton Le Field. Yes. 69007 I believe the one going to Swanage
seen a few drivers at pool back in the day didn't get their stop quite right they had to accelerate Field you plant. Next up, Kirking and Wash it, West Western. That's the one. That's the controller vibrating. Ah, oh, actually we'll go up to the box. I think it's a box. Signal's box, signal's car. admit this is a really well detailed route even though like the, the little bits where the crossings are you got the do not trespass sort of thing did anyone see the news clip from Oz of the racehorse waiting for a train uh, no can't say I did Folks coming in. Strangers been found then. 
Oh, sure, sure goes good for you at the time. Train spotter. <laughs> oh, another news today. I got my finally got my cooker fitted as well. All connected up. Brilliant. Oh, I've been having some really lovely hot meals. Where else we stop in? It should be that one then. Preston. Oh, it's Lord Lucan will be next. It'll be raining by the time we get to uh, Preston. Five oh three. Oh, Jay Simpson's dead. Oh, forty. today I guess we'll stop there then.
I heard there was a shunter sort of down in there. Well, we'll get the doors shut ready. Take the, take the brakes off because it takes that long to get them going. I have to log this with the depot manager at Preston. Basically saying that it keeps shutting down. Nice, two weeks off from what? You're always on all day, Bradley. What's going on? So we want to go via Good afternoon there young lady jet, how are you sir? How are you? Oh, train some news Oh, Semmering Barn preview tonight. Mm -hmm. Platform Wibble. Oh wow, just looking at that video now. So lucky not to fall off the platform. Oh, that is amazing. That is crazy. <laughs> Lucky he didn't fall off the platform though. Currently 158 on Leicester to Nottingham. Nice. Midland, I've not played Midland Mainline for a while actually, to be honest. In fact, we're going to do mid the main line next because that's my choice. Yeah, I did see that. It's beyond the yellow line. There we go, nuts at pool. No, stand behind the yellow line! I did the train chopping for at 95 miles an hour. It's a 20 mile an hour limit through pool. You're not exactly going to get sucked off through pool.
Yeah. One oh one. I need a drink. Orange in a minute. Some people might have tried, yes, depends on if the pros have been booted out of the docks. <laughs> yeah, well can't get in there these days. The docks that is. Paces in there, There's nothing there at the moment. Shunter and a couple of locos. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Getting tired of TSW playing this. I'm actually enjoying it. It's quite nice. There's always a route that you can go to where you will enjoy it, even if the rest of the train sim world is annoying the hell out of you. Wake at uh, ten to five, ten to six again this morning. So we're gonna have a yellow, which we have. That should go yellow because if it doesn't we're gonna um i better start breaking it's a bit too late you got a yellow very good Um, I've been watching um, Renegade Nell, Nell on Disney Channel 
absolutely brilliant, fantastic little series. Yep, running ECS again. Two forty sevens. Titan and five forty. Defo core problem, yeah. Pacer. Forty seven there, what's that? Oh, hello. Not driven one of those yet. Oop, wrong way. Emergency brakes work then. <laughs> oh, sweet. Twelve fifty six, look. Now I've got to run back there. Damn you. Oh, hello. Seven six five one. What's he coming on? Tickets, please. Oh, no one's it. Oh, hello. Got one. So finally, one gets on at Preston. Why, I order. 
you've Three get on a Preston. I'm going first class, that's why. You're not in first class yet. Ah, first class. Service 10.45 London Euston oh, I'm not waiting that on sod it there's a train yeah um, actually this point sit down um Three, eight. Um, pop down this side. Oh, there's nothing in there. Oh, okay, fine. Nothing in there then, right. Midland Main Line it is. So that that would suck. Is that the, what you call it one, the open world one? Yeah, be interesting to see. Right, what have we got? Oh, we have, it's um, at the moment, it's all um, timetable services, TT. Right, let's have a look. What are we going to do? Midland Main Line. Humber Oil Refinery to Kingsbury Oil Sidings. Hmm. Let's do that one. Yeah, let's do that one. We're not doing dynamic weather. August 11th. Hmm, might be something I'll purchase that depending starting to shy away from um jobs there. uh from call of duty because i just think it's just a bit too expensive right i'm gonna get that started i'm just gonna get myself a drink i'll be back in a second might be one to invest in oh i think actually i can start to open the curtains Excuse me, more tea, Vicar.
Oh, that didn't sound good. I'm going to have to mute myself in a minute. I'm having a finger. Um, I'm having a Kit Kat finger. White chocolate finger as well. Right, ready? Let's go. We're in 66. So I'm in, I'm in, is that on? Yeah. Um, tower lights on, just they are. Instrument lights, dust lights, they don't work anyway. Um, I'll take the brakes off in a minute. Oh, we can. Right. Ooh, we're quite long. Couple of thirty sevens there. Nice. All right, let's go, shall we? How big are we? 2,000 ton, nearly 3,000, nice. Doing it in a 47. Oh, good luck. I've got the AWS on. Oh, what have you done, young Bradley? You've broken it. Or has it crashed? Bit of a weird rail joint sound. Good afternoon, Adam, if you're watching. This 47 said nope. <laughs> this 47 went, you got to be kidding me! No! Oh, hello. Better open, get out of the way of that 158 coming in. Excuse me. 
Hey! Always a quiet one watching. You missed the DVD. Oops. DSD. Welcome to the 600th stream. How you doing, Adam? I thought you'd be too busy watching Relcam at Basingstoke, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. It's not bad camera. It's, it's something that we've always needed on this route, on the southwestern mainline route. Um, but it's a bit high. And to be honest, I would have preferred Eastleigh because you yeah, had an awful lot of work down there. It's quiet today, so yeah. Oh, bless. Yeah, Thursdays are not that um, busy. Usually early week and then a Friday because you've got all the engineering stuff moving. Yeah, definitely around the. the I, th I think it'd have to be more so Eastley because uh, you've just got so much stuff going in and about Eastley. There's so much, even just stuff that's working in around the yard, like where they do a lot of the yard work. And apparently, I've been, I've heard rumours that. Easily, maybe getting one or two of those Beacon Rail Class 18 hybrid shunters uh, for the yard work for network rail infrastructure. So that would be interesting to see. But then again, Southampton docks, you've got like, well, anything south of Southampton all the way through to Totten, you've got a lot of the, the, the Southampton Maritime, Millbrook, um, the dockside, ooh, there's this place again. Um, yeah, them, can't remember what they're called. Yeah, the no, it's the yard. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> it's an engineer. It's network rail yard, isn't it? Oh man, no, it's not that one. It's that one. Beeston, Beeston Yard, right? Hi Evan, how you doing mate? Welcome to six hundredth stream. <laughs> so as you know as well that the train sim will got an update today as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and we've got formation designer in, which does work. Although it has crashed twice for me, but that's basically because I tried loading in um, uh, my training center save game, which I had a lot of UK stuff all over the training center, and it crashed. Unless you're on Xbox, you don't get any. Hi, Tintin. Thank you. Yeah, I feel really old as well. Hi, Double Spider Gaming. How you doing? Tired, probably gonna speed. Oh, spad at Rochester Bridge Junction in a minute. <laughs> We've all been there. Expected expect update for tomorrow, yes. But no, I've, I've, I've had a pair of 37s with a FKA set. And what was the other thing I had? Um. 
pair of 33s that I made up for um, with 12 PCA cement wagons and like yeah I didn't think it saved it yeah I'm okay tired because I was up at 10 to 6 again this morning yay Trackside, all right. Get down here. There's a station here, isn't there? Right. Dive underneath. Is there a station here? Yeah, there is. We'll just pop there. Then we'll get blown out by a blooming HST or 158. Oh, we'll be fine now. Oh, brrr. I hate it when it does that. Oh, no. Look at these lovely reskins. Did a really good job there. Three seven seven three coming to a concert. Ah, now you can't. From what I recall, what they say, if you pick a three seven seven, it is three seven seven. It's the whole four cars. You can't delete the, the thingy out. Hi, right, Liverpool trains. <laughs> Actually, there's a couple of things that I need to look at. I know one of them won't be in there, but I know something else is in there, and I'm just wondering if we can use that. I have to test that. Must be getting good at these reskin things. Someone's on one of book Facebook groups asked how much one of mine was. Get charging them, mate. Oh, is that the right? That's the line to toting, isn't it? Yes. The 37s in TSW is. Well, 37. Uh, sorry. It's probably going to be four cars, so things go bad when you try to make a three car of it. We've been trying for years when I was back at DTG. <laughs> Although we did have um, a 465-313 combo in the training centre, and it worked. you just done the junction at 50. Oh, crap. That means I better slow down, isn't it? Yeah, this might not end well. Well, my career, that will end. Well, if Cole managed to survive it at 30, I'm sure I can survive it at, 50, um, at 40. No, you did it at 50, didn't you? Oh, we got 10. Oh, no, got to slow down really got to slow down I've got to stop actually oh well this could have been over so quickly still got to slow down though yes I mean it's going to take a lot for, uh, it's going to take a lot of um, 
We're not slowing down. <laughs> it's going to take a little bit of playing around, I think, to um, uh, to see what we can do and what we can't do. Bit late taking the power off now, Rob, isn't it? Come on. Let's be honest here. <laughs> that is why it's taking a while to give players access to something like a formation design and the crazies and then <laughs> trains <laughs> yes oh I'm stuck in that boundary again I can see there being a few crazy designs from me at some point. I mean, we're not going to get up to 100 miles an hour, but yeah. Just slightly insane. There's no slightly about it. Is this long eating? Yeah, this is long eating, isn't it? Yeah, but I've had weird images of something overhead running down Haters 1. Hmm. <laughs> Challenge accepted, Captain Nida. We put a seven hundred high speed one. Now, just saying, if it crashes, it would have usually crashed around here. But the last couple of times that I have run this, when well, I did run it a few months ago, it's been a while, it hasn't crashed, but it has done before. Give it a bit of sandwich. The, the limit is there's only 100 wagons that you can use, or 100 items, so 98, well, 99 wagons and one loco sort of thing. You're eating more noodles. At least, well, hopefully you ain't taking them off the, uh, picking them up off the floor this time.
but the other thing as well is it's literally only 100 wagons i know i've seen posts of people wanting to do 150 wagon trains it's like ain't gonna happen um also from what i can see you only get a choice of them being unloaded and not loaded i might be wrong Pain spray. Frame rate looks pretty cool anyway. If I can get just up, is this a station up here? <laughs> no, I'll do that. Can't see anything, mind. I drifted from the hours. How are you doing? Want to stream? How do you make custom trains? Uh, via the formation designer. In theory, that horn will be louder, should be louder. Traffic. 4.3 miles of Derby. Three point nine now. Oh, I must remember to bring my plants in. They've been sunning themselves out on the table, on the balcony. You're nowhere near Derby. Really? What have you been doing? 3.5. Forty-seven is doing very well. Uh, the old girls can still pull them. Adam, you going down to Swanage Diesel Gala in May? Oh, of course, yes, some of it's just, yeah. What, 
are they doing on that bridge? What are they doing on that bridge? It doesn't seem very high, that um, thingy. That just... That bridge isn't like that in real life, really. Truly. I mean, it's just like they can just... No. Oh, what the hell? I better get my train. Yeah, they've got a couple of 70s at Seven Valley as well this year. And a 69. I think the 58 as well, if I remember rightly. One mile, better start slowing. And yeah, the fifty nine, yeah, sorry, yeah. Swannies have got the sixty nine double oh seven. Um I think there's one more to be announced. As well as one or two fifties and two twenties. Well, they do, don't they? They're there doing... They've got... Um, haven't they got... Uh, oh, I can't remember. They took um, two more Midland Mainline HSTs there a few weeks ago. From Eastleigh, I think, I think it was. Yeah, I'm going a bit too fast. Hopefully you will slow down. It's got a 73, yeah. We are not slowing down. We are still not slowing. We're going to spad. No. This is not good. Oh, I think TPWS just hit. Well, the penalty brake system does indeed work. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. Right, Adam, I need a UK-based route. You can't have me the main line because we already had it. <laughs> that was the train break. Goblin. Oh, good choice. Good choice. Right. I fell asleep on that the other day. <laughs> I'll tell you what we'll just do. We'll just do um, service on it. Timetable mode. Right. Right. Ooh. That is a good choice. Goblin line. Did I just put goblin? I did. I should have really put gospel oak. I put geo anyway. I've got to say it is quite good. I, I noticed that on the 33 tour, when it's when it's about to, if it's AI running it, 
when it's about to leave the um, um, leave the siding, it gives a toot on the horn. That's awesome. Goblin. It's under L, isn't it? Oh, hello. Goblin has some HOA services. Awaiting release of aggregates. Oh, awesome. Hope they add the class 350 to the game. That yeah, would be good, but... Do they run around the Goblin line? Or that area? That's awesome. Get some HOA services on there. That'll make people happy. They still turn around and say, I don't think it's worth the price, because they're like that. No, so 350s will have to have a route. Um, West Coast Mainline would be awesome, but yeah. Right, we are going to do... I don't think we've done many of them, actually. Um... Bum, 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 bum. Should we do Barking Riverside to Gospel Oak? Ooh. Yeah, let's do that one. I'm not going to do dynamic weather. Do custom. A little bit of cloud. Actually, let's give it a bit of cloud. And a bit of moisture. But no rain. And a bit windy. Way, a bit windy. Right, unfortunately, because I'm diabetic, I need a um, nine-player services by the looks of it. Oh, awesome. In and out of Dagenham to various locations. Dagenham? That's um, southeastern high speed. Because it goes up through that way, doesn't it? Yes. Excuse me. <laughs> right. I need a P and B. I'll just kick it in. I'll be in in a minute, <laughs> literally. Oh my god! open the other curtain now because it's, it's a bit cool. it's a bit more cloudy i've got a 10 foot wide window and about seven foot high basically right next to where my tv it goes out onto my balcony the yeah the the end of barking beyond riverside yeah i've got yeah Right, it's, it's actually, this is such a fun route, to be honest. Um, I'm not the doors right. It's... This looks like a really cheaply made unit. That looks awful. Cheap handlebar, except chopper bike accelerator sort of gear stick thing. <laughs> Sorry, but not not dovetail, but it's just the way that it was made. It just looks horrible inside the cab. Oh, 
AWS and AWS operational. Um, yeah, where's the DRA? There we go. Oh, it would now, wouldn't it? Um, well, we are there, actually. Where is... It's over here, isn't it? We can scooch over here. Everyone's in. Just want to see what's up here. I can't see anything. Where are we? So, one of them moves, that one does, that one stays there, and I think there's one over here somewhere, isn't there? EWS is booked. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> what was that? That was, that was like, mind the gap and something, something, something. Um, what have I forgotten to do? Where are the headlights? Um, there, aren't they? There. Cap, no. There you go. Headlights off. We're on day. We're okay. Cool. Um, we'll just plant ourselves there. I've got to do a walk in the route on here. I think we're ready to go. Give the blokes a toot at the end of the platform. See you later, and, um, Liverpool trains. You can't open the windows. Yes, you can. And guess what? I'm already speeding. I'll have both windows open, sort it. Got that noise, that flange noise as well. <laughs> Two EWS and that crap reskin livery you can't get rid of. <laughs> which no one's done because you can't find it. Riffle Lane EWS. I've not yet seen the London Underground unit. I mean, personally, I would have put the 72 stock running up and down there, but that's just me. <clears throat> Not care in the world. It looks right. <laughs> Sounds like someone's starting up a car, revving up a car. Parking one mile. I, this is roughly where the barking cam is for rail cam. It's it's roughly round here somewhere. 
someone sent me the time it spawns in, but can't wait for the life of the machine. <laughs> Remember, yeah. No, it happens when you get older. I was on here the other night. This is why. This is why I, well, I fell asleep. I actually fell asleep with just <laughs> driving the train. I was stopped outside Gospel Oak, and um, I was in one of these. I was about fifteen minutes late altogether, and there was a cement train behind me. <laughs> oh dear. And yeah, there was, there was an awful build-up of traffic around me and this I was so late I broke dispatcher because the train was 15 minutes late and everything was trying to get by and it couldn't so dispatcher was falling over itself reason why you don't fall asleep driving trains yeah the, the problem is is because i'm waking up really really early i'm having to get up because i can't lay in bed i can't go back to sleep and um i get up and by about half past nine i'm really really tired and i want to go to bed but i won't go to bed to it really late because then i'll sleep if that makes sense if you know what i mean I think we've got something coming in. That's always yellow. There's nothing there, is there? Oh, is that green? No, it's my imagination. Yeah, another unit. Yeah, 38 stock. We could do some C2C stock on here now. <laughs> But I must admit, for a little 13 and a half or 14 mile route, there is a lot of services in this. Yeah. Just reminds me of the old gear stick on the old chopper bike. Well, this will be the last one tonight. Oh. Um, because I've got to have something to eat and I'm going to settle down and watch the uh, Summering Barn stream. I will have the laptop on, so I'll probably have the chat on as well. So I'll be chatting in that. And that'll be a laugh. 12-12 for the 38 stock. I shall make a note of that. Thank you, Bradley. Is it 12.12 on everything? Or at 12 minutes past the hour on everything? Or surely it just doesn't run at 12.12? <laughs> Ooh, hiccups. Woodgrange Park. Thirteen twelve. I read that wrong then.
We're fine. Okay. What's that up there? Just went free. Freightliner jobby. I, I take it it's mine because I don't think there's another one that I've downloaded, which I haven't. The thing is, I am sleeping at night now, which is pretty cool um, because. Um, um obviously it's 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 only seven months since after when my mum died but before that obviously i was hardly getting any sleep and so it's a lot of, to get used to if you know what i mean to try and get back your i'm not getting back uninterrupted sleep because i'm still like tossing and turning in bed sort of thing and occasionally i do get woken up by some screaming banshee not foxes um um across the road sort of thing you know in the park it could be foxes um but when this one starts effing and blinding it's definitely not a fox um so i am sleeping which it, i i thought because i'm on a, the, the thing is though i'm in a new property so it's all new sort of thing i'm also a new new bed as well so yeah it it, it kind of all the, the the signs are there that you don't get really decent enough sleep but i am getting sleep which is good i am falling asleep but i'm doing better in that department than what i thought i would um but i think a lot of the worry is over as well just about a job now um but yeah, it's just I'm sleeping a lot better, but I just wake up early and I can't get back to sleep. Um, so the PlayStation gets hit with Wreckfest <laughs> at half past six in the morning <laughs> for a couple of hours. Leighton Stone High Road is next. This is what I do like about this route. With all the little branches on there, you will see freight and other passenger stuff on there, which is pretty cool. There's also a few light engine movements along here as well.
Yeah, I've not done them. Oh no, I did. Did I do the twenties? I've done the twenties. Well, I mean, I thought they would take you down into Ripple Yard, but instead they just take you to um, um, they take you to uh, uh, Barkin. Thirty-seven goes to the yard. Oh, cool. Dog and Duck Pub. I can't remember if I um, shared it on my um, Hentis Rail page, but there's a pub at St. Denny's. Is it St. Denny's? I think it's St. Denny's called The Junction Inn. It's a nice pub. Go past it a lot of the time. I go up that way to Southampton well it's past Southampton so it's like up to Eastley way and um, it literally sits right next door to St Denny's or it sits, it's either St Denny's or Swadling I think it's St Denny's um, station and they have um, a um You know what? I can't remember what they call those things. It's this little thing that I've got. Tells you the passenger train times. I tell you what, my memory is absolutely terrible. Not rail announcements. Oh, I can't remember what it's called now. UK departure boards. They've got a big one, depart UK departure board, set up in their, um, set up in their pub, and literally it tells you the local train times, like, uh, for St Denny's, and people come in, have a drink. And if they see that the train is late, they have a couple more drinks. <laughs> and the bloke said, it's just like, it's such a godsend that they've had this installed because it gets them more, you know, it, everyone sort of stays in there a little bit longer. If the, you know, if the train's running late. I've got, I've got a little mini one, but I was contemplating, shall I buy a big one? But it, it's a job where it has to be screwed properly to the wall. Or I was thinking on top of my bookcase, and I'm like, that'd be so cool. Be a talking point. I could still get one, to be honest, but yeah, I don't know. I know, I know there would be some people that I'd like to be like, well, what the hell are you doing that for? You haven't even got a job. Oh, there they are. Always forget them. Oh.
I like that they put on their DTG 2209. Oh, hello. Speeding a bit. There's also I think I share I think I shared this one on my Hent Israel page. The actual guy who made who runs the company UK Departure Boards, uh, from what I'm seeing on this video, he's actually autistic and he he's made he runs the business UK Departure Board. And he builds a lot of the boards. They're all made by them set at home. From what I can make out of the video. I'll definitely be tea and biscuits um, meeting with me with the depot manager sounding my horn too many times. You get a lot of the freight coming up through here as well. You get stuff waiting, waiting at the lights there. Um, I think that goes down onto the Great Eastern Main Line, I think. Well, that up there, it goes up that way, Great Eastern Main Line. Such a cracking route to end the stream on, actually. 600th stream. Wow. Saturday will be the 600th and first. On the way to a thousand. What am I going to do with a thousand streams? Wow. Don't know. Hopefully improve my driving. Oh, am I speeding again? <laughs> Whoopsie. I'll sort it out Discord.
I'll tell you what, the stations on here remind me, or this route kind of reminds me of the same people that did the um, Birmingham Cross City route. Get used to split. New banana split flavour. Split from your local stockists. This has this has that it was the people behind Birmingham Cross City that did the route, if you get what I mean. Do you know what I mean? It has that quality, the feel to it, the look to it. I just love to keep accelerating on this. Definitely got to take this down high speed one. Why are we doing 30 miles an hour for God's sake? Seven oh one. What's that? When I'm done here, we've got to go back to um, Barking. I'm looking here at these, he says. And I'm thinking... This is for platform extensions if, in the future, they want them. So if you look, is it like exactly the same sort of distance or they are, those platform supports? So next Monday will be um, ma Monday Mastery. So that'll be, um, it might be the afternoon, it could be the evening, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. You'll see them on Blackpool when you do the Master. I think I've done that. Why are we just doing 30 miles an hour? This is silly. Get your speed up, come on. 
I didn't realise we went under the East Coast. Oh, look. I think that's a zoom. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Frame rates dropped a bit as well. Do we have something coming in? Oh, look. The hell? Oh, that's that. That's that 66 that I've not done before. You know what? I reckon that's one of mine. In fact, after this stream, I am going to look. I've got a sneaky suspicion that is one of mine. That's why I can't find it. And I've got a very funny feeling it's on Oh, GC. Okay. So yeah, there's about f I've that's about the fourth or fifth, including the twenties light engine that I've seen that you can drive. Just got to pop back over to uh, Barking as well after this. We're going to head out and grab some food. Congrats on the 600. Thank you. Have a good night. I will. You too, sir. Hopefully you'll be sat there watching the Semmering Barn stream. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. Speak to you later. Cheers. Thing that I found with that siding as well, you cannot go from here, from here, you cannot go from here, that line, into that siding. It doesn't allow you to. There's no way that you can get in there, apart from coming up to here, coming up to there, and then reversing back in. Yeah, I think you have to run wrong line, I think. 
so uh, by the looks of it you run wrong line here on through here you run wrong line through this way and go in it that way So our final approach is um, Gospel Lake. <laughs> There's also freight that runs on those two lines as well. The sign on the bridge is to prioritise because you can't see it. Mm. Right, how did we do? Platinum 7,613. Loads of places where we were speeding. We would have got about 8,000 for that. Yeah, well, happens. Right. So, I'm um, going to return to the main menu. It's just stuff that I saw the other night when I was playing. I think it might, would have been Tuesday night, I think it was. There's some really nice detail on this route, which I think not a lot of people look at.
Right, so for starters, you can't sit down here either. Yeah, to say that, he can. I can't. And the passengers, they are pretty cool. Pretty cool passengers, I think. So, first up, you want to visit... And you've got all your little sand and snow and all your bits and bobs. That sound pretty cool. Your loco, spot, loco stop spot. This is where you want to go to. He's not doing anything. Look at your sandwiches, your coffee selection. Um, not so much that. Speciality coffee, the freight, the express, the guard duty. One-way ticket. Well, we all know what that one is. On the Thames. Probably brewed from it or dredged from it. <laughs> Direct from the source. What? <laughs> um, tea and hot chocolate. Split hot chocolate. House tea. House uh, special tea. A chuffing good time tea. Um, and there is another one here, if I can find it. The dogs nuts and mixed fruit speciality sweets and hot bakes. <laughs> You just gotta laugh at some of these. Um, but yeah, there's some nice. Uh, he looks as though he doesn't really want to be there doing that job all the time. He's just like giving a bit of a huff there, sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it's just like I'm not looking at their bums. Sorry, it's just some of the stuff here: dovetail chocolate, whatever that one is. What is that? Chocolate bar, wonky donkey bar, whatever chocolate. Yeah, some pretty cool. The roasty, whatever that is. They, you know, their marketing on here is just like even the characters look with their different trainers and all that sort of stuff on. They got some sort of character generator there where they can choose what ones can be. Do you know what I mean? Um, and then the next one, actually, I'll do it up here. I mean, Barking Station. You don't really think so, but it is a fantastic. It's an absolutely big station. Absolutely hum humongous, although you've only got those platforms that are available. But one of the things that caught, caught my eye on the Tuesday was elegance demands perfection. It's a scone, not a biscuit. The scone dry company. Um, always end with a split. <laughs> uh, that one, that's just like one of those pointless adverts you see at the stations. It says, it's like, what's that supposed to be? But then it's just like Avatar. Oh, excuse me. I'll, I'll get out of the way then. It just, you know what I mean? It's just like Dovetail Games. But it's just one of those pointless, what's it advertising? You know what I mean? Track and Rail Bar, yes. Um, so, yeah, they've done really well with the, this is funny, the Ripple. Pre-order yours now. For those who like a challenge. Visit your local mobile retailer to pre-order your new Ripple and receive a free case. Case only compatible with non-Ripple phones. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, that's crazy. It's all good, though. That's the thing. It's... I don't... Th oh, hello. I didn't know you could call the lifts on here. I know you could do it on some of the other stations. Thank you. Can you hit the bell? I know you could do it on the um on on the other stations. Look at the P Oh I can't read what that says, hold on a minute. Look at the Ripple Lane. Here's a, oh, the Ripple. Oh, sorry, we'll do that in a minute. Two seconds. Oh, I might have, actually, I've seen that, but I can't. Is that it? Yeah. Watch your step. These basement prices are steep. Downstairs shopping. 
Home delivery available, T and C's, pizza, ten pound. Oh, that that looks nice. Don't forget, I mean they 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 make all these up. All these adverts are done. They they make them up themselves. So that is pretty cool. Stunning majestic destinations await. Book your tickets now. White bird travel. Dovetail, white bird. Okay. But these are the little smaller concessionary ones. So you get all your drinks as well. Dovetail. I've got... I was going to say, I've got one of those dovetail clear ones like that, but it's more that size. Spaced. So it's pretty cool. I don't know what we have got coming in. Probably nothing. But you got one of them. Nah. Oh, there's a freight. Shall you wait for the freight? No, because I've got to get something to eat and the live stream start, their live stream starts in about half an hour. <laughs> right, guys. Well, that is going to be it. 600th stream in the bag. I should do the right up tomorrow. <laughs> You're kind of knackered today, actually. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you all very much. I will see you uh, for Saturday stream. But I will see you in Discord or um, uh, the YouTube chat um, uh, for the Semmering Barn. Um, but yeah, you got... I mean, you don't realise how big these are. The station. Train doors close 30 seconds. These aren't... There's nothing on there. Same with them. I, I, I did do that. I think there's uh, a poster there somewhere. Where is... Oh, it's it those. Ticket but it looks it looks awesome. It does look really really nice, and they've done a really nice job on these these um, thingies. So, yeah. It's... Where's the train? No, we're not waiting for that. Right. So um, that's it, guys. Thank you all very much. I will see you either in Discord or on the YouTube chat sort of thing. You can't hit them either. I did try that. Um, yeah. Oh, the other thing as well. I want to remember. These are the underground lines. You can... You can go up on here. Which is pretty cool. They've actually made it so you can actually travel up on there. Can you walk around there? Okay, so you can walk down here. I've not done this bit, so I wouldn't know, so bear with me. I don't know if we're going to get stuck. Oh, we're breathing in a bit. And no, we, okay. So we'll have to walk all the way back. No, there are some people that won't do this. Oh, well, I'll just here to drive the trains. I don't care about the environment or that sort of rubbish. Or I don't care about the scenery. Blah blah blah. I'm not bothered. Okay, fine. You know, there are people that are interested in it, and there are people that aren't. And you know, unless you unless you try it, you don't know, do you? At the end of the day, and um... oh, hello. Oh, I didn't try this bit. So yeah. Oh, fog setting in. Early onset fog. So you can walk over here. Nice little, some nice little vantage points over here. Then you can go all the way down here, and then you can't go anymore. And that's it. But you get to walk along it. You know what I mean? You get to use it, which is pretty cool. You don't mind if a route is scenic. You're just the fact that it's. Oh, God. Hold on a minute. 
I don't mind if a route is seeing it, it's just the fact it's brought up every day. <laughs> I just choose to ignore it now sometimes. Best thing. But it's I mean, it's not so much, no, I'm not saying that it's scenic, but I think it's, I think it's just been so well done. Do you know what I mean? There's so much detail. So much detail on everything. I am so tempted to stick a room. Should be a bloody dwarf to get in here. You know what? I've not even tried this. Um. It's only so far we can go. No, can't do that. So that actually, does that mean that green light there? Does that mean that there's there's one coming in? I'm wondering if it is. Probably not. The hell? I'll shut the I'll shut the doors, don't worry about it. But that don't work then. That's it, I'll just leave out there. Damn. Didn't work. Oh, that was my neck just creaked. Right. Okay, on that note, that is it. I'll have a play around with that later on. Thought you were going to put the 72 stock on the ground, but yeah, I will do it at some point. I'll have a look at that. But yeah, guys, thank you all very much. Really, really appreciate it. Um, I will see you for the next stream on Saturday night, Saturday evening. It'll be Root Lucky Dip time, I think it is. And um, thank you all very much. And I will speak to you guys later. So have fun. I'll see you in the stream in about 10 minutes. Take it easy. Well, 20 minutes even, something like that. Um, take it easy and I'll see you later. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.